Welcome to Clydeans Chronicles, where today I will be reading for you one of my favorite tales. This is the Tale of a Templar, Volume 1. The land of Calradia has been plagued for centuries by war and greed. Empires have risen and fallen, staining the dirt with the blood of countless lives. Many men have clawed their way to great power and wealth using guile and a silver tongue. Others prepare themselves on the field of Battle, carving out their path through blood and bone. Yet still, there are men who have no such personal ambitions, but heed a higher calling. This is where we find the hero of our story, a man of self-righteousness on a path that he does not yet know that he is on. Meet Lacalian the son of a guardsman whose parents were killed during the fall of the empire. He was adopted by local farmers who raised him as their own. During his youth, he assisted on the farm, herding sheep and cattle. As he grew older, he found himself drawn to the teachings of the clergy and the great tales of past heroes. His days were spent in the fields, whereas his evenings were spent honing his riding with the plow horse. Once he was of age, Lacalian trained with the other boys who wished to become knights for the local lord. Over time, his skill grew and he found himself searching for a higher purpose. On his naming day as he left home, he donned the holy symbol of the clergy for protection and set off to find his destiny. In this thematic challenge run, I wanted to try my best attempt at playing as a Templar. We have slightly modded Bannerlord for this series, and I'll be putting the mod list in the description. The rules of this run are simple. We must be just and embody the actions of a holy knight. And while I say just and holy, uh, most of our aggression should be towards, you know, near dwells and uh, a little dash of deus vol. In addition, we must play in first person and with Bannerlord difficulty. We are also gonna be utilizing a cavalry based build for ourselves, as well as all all of our companions to really fit that Knights Templar theme. In addition, the most Templar looking armor that I was able to find happens to belong to the Vlandian faction, so the majority of our troops will be Vlandian. So that's kind of where we're going to be heading to as we start this playthrough. Hey, what have we here? There's a tax for passage in these parts, traveler. Paid either in coin or in blood. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can pay it in, uh, this kind gentleman's, uh, blood. So, as my men start slowly coming forward, I'm going to utilize the power of circles to try and dodge as many of these rocks that they have. And, honestly, the scariest thing about looters is the fact that they have rocks. It's not anything else. Because, honestly, they are about as durable as a wet paper napkin. And, well, they don't have good gear. They do, however, have a large supply of rocks. And when you've got 20 people throwing stones at you, well, riding around on horseback in circles while trying to dodge as many rocks that are flying through the air as possible while my infantry comes through is kind of our best bet here. We are actually losing a lot more units than I would like. We kind of need to try and keep our boys alive here. Let's go ahead and see if we can rescue at least a couple of our units here. Oop. But yeah, okay. So we managed to keep a couple of our units alive here, and they should have enough experience to level up after this battle. Okay, so now we're heading back to Charis, and we're going to go ahead and sell all of the items that we just got from that battle. 
and we're going to head off into our next mission of trying to find some more looters to tackle because I don't think we're in a good position here. We don't have the troop quality for us to handle forest bandits. And speak of the devil, here you are, and I am not going to surrender to you against my better judgment. Everyone, we're going to get into a shield wall and slow march forward. Hopefully your shields hold up. I'm going to try and flank and draw the fire. Okay, well, that kind of worked. I took a lot of damage there. But let's see if I can get uh, at least a nice charge in once you guys roll up. After what seemed like days, Lacalian came to and headed back to the city of Charis. None of his men survived the battle. I love your armor. Where did you get it? I need some of that. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Oh, Ephraim the Ill-Starred. I see that you're cursed and any man who proposes to marry you shall die. Honestly, I have just the job for you. You're going to become a nun. Now that we've kind of recovered from those uh, pesky forest bandits, let's go ahead and allocate some of our focus points and skill points here. I'm going to increase social because I think I'm going to need some more leadership. Now that we've restocked, it's back to looter season. Okay, so we have a bunch of fresh meat conscripts here, and we need to get these guys leveled up for us to have a solid cavalry army. So I'm going to have them slow roll forward while I come in from the flank on these looters, and we need to try and rest as many of our units while they keep the looters at bay in order for them to level up so we can get a higher troop quality because we're trying to have a uh, army of holy knights here right so this is kind of what we're doing we're going to be running around circles you know getting that movement speed up and oh my would you look at that that man's having a bad day you could say he lost his head funny anyway back to a uh, you know Taking care of these, uh, these filthy, filthy criminals. Yes, criminals, criminals. That, that's what they are. I'm totally not a criminal. These, these are, these are criminals and their crime is being poor. And now that I have another battle under my belt, Ephraim, I am back for you. It is time for you to join us. So join us, you shall. Your stats are honestly not terrible i kind of wish that you had some writing but it, it's fine uh, your, your story your story makes up for it and uh we will make you into a holy knight and now that we have our first companion in tow it is time for us to set off to conquer the rest of the outlaws and the kingdom of vlandia so now that i'm taking a little bit of a moment here for us to go find some work i'm hoping that we'll be able to help out some of these towns with the bandit population, get some more renown, and then eventually either get to the point where we have a higher tier level of clan tier so we can get a stronger army in numbers and maybe join as a mercenary for the Kingdom of Landia to help defend the lands and protect the people against any foreign bodies. But that won't be for a little while because honestly, we're, we're over here and you know, some basic cloth armor and we just have a spear a sword and a shield we're not doing too well hey there oh look at you i i don't think i know you oh you you, you want me to um acquire some criminals i can i can i can do that i can help you we have a mission to go acquire some criminals and now that means it's the looter hunting season uh part two and guess what I just found? All right, man, we're going to slowly Over approach. Field. I'm going to do the same old tactic because it seems to have worked kind of somewhat a little bit. And a, uh, hopefully I'll be able to at least distract them a little bit. So you guys can outnumber them once they actually reach you and uh, get a couple of them knocked out by the time I have to come in. Ephrain got the first kill and I'm taking a little bit of damage, but I think this will be okay. We're, we're fine. We haven't taken too many rockets yet. Uh, I, I'm fine. Our infantry are actually right here. So yes, let's see if we can get a couple of uh, kills in here because we really need the XP. Oh, 
All right. See, I got the last two kills. That means it counts, right? Okay, let's head over to Ostakan and regroup. Now we're going to head back. See if we can find ourselves any more looters to a uh, press gang or recruit for uh, Atlantis here. Excuse me, sir. I do have a prisoner for you. I have brought you a man. A man. Don't look at me so disappointed. I'll come back with more. Fine. Okay. So now our next goal is to obviously gather as many prisoners as we possibly can right now. So we can actually uh, deliver them all to Alantis as best that we can, right? So we're just, you know, out scouring the area. And, oh, there's a quest over here of Val Valenby. Let's say, uh, let's check and see what they have. We need to train some of their villagers. Well, that's going to go uh, hand in hand really well with us beating up a bunch of looters and acquiring them as uh, prisoners. So let's go ahead and do that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the face of disappointment. And by disappointment, I mean I'm disappointed because I managed to not get a single freaking prisoner out of that fight. So anyway, we're back to looking, and I'm kind of feeling maybe taking on some of these forest bandits. Oh no, look, it's, uh, it's the consequences of my own poor decisions. This is, uh, not good. Not, not good at all. All right, men, uh, we are outnumbered and outclassed and outgeared. So everyone, uh, follow forward, Calvary, follow me, and uh, keep your shields up as best you can, because there's 27 of them, and that's uh, that's well over, that's about twice as many as we have. We have 19, I think, right now, and a, a lot of them are just straight up peasants that don't have any gear. We just need to hit them from the side, take out as many of these guys as we possibly can, and hopefully our infantry can a, a come in and save the day for us as we uh, hit them from the back. Okay, we're losing some borrowed troops, but they are literally peasants with like pitchforks, so that that's that makes sense. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and see if we can take out a couple of these guys or at least do a lot of damage here. Ooh, that whiff did not help me right now. Um, okay, we're, we're losing another borrowed borrow troop. That's fine. If it's just borrowed troops, I think we'll be okay. Let's see if we can take some more of these guys out. At least get them low. We got another one down here. We're, we are uh, whittling them down quite a bit here. And now we're losing. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we reached uh, melee zone and we're... Oh, crap. Okay, we're, we're taking a lot of damage here. All of our units are down and we're... This is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, we have just our horsemen now, and I'm going to try and do, do my best here at getting these guys knocked out, you know? But uh, they've all got bows and arrows. I'm sure you would like to hear more of Lacalian's tale. Unfortunately, that will have to wait until the Tale of a Templar, Volume 2. What's going on, everybody? This is Clydean Fair. I hope you all enjoyed The Tale of a Templar, Volume 1. And if you would like to see more videos such as this, don't forget to make that number go up, like the video, and tell me what your favorite part of the video was in the comment section below. And until next time, have a good one.